Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Troy Olympic in the tier 8 French wheeled light premium tank, is it? Ish, I guess, wheeled um, armored vehicle, right? <laughs> it is the EBR 75 FL10, uh, a vehicle that is actually so broken that Wargaming haven't sold this vehicle in like over two years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah. On Prokhorovka, Trovi Olympic is going to show me exactly why this figure hasn't been on sale for uh, for quite a while now. Even though, I mean, this is kind of like, um, you know, your free-to-play type of build. Regular coated optics, regular vents, regular CVs over here. Not, you know, old gold and stuff like that. No premium consumable. So this is actually a really uh, interesting setup to have over here. But as you can see, it still works. It, it still works very nicely, even with those regular pieces of equipment. Um, so why is this vehicle considered so uh, toxic, I guess, inside the matchmaking? Because if you go with, like, you know, you want to go for that premium build, right? You go with the bounty exhaust, you go with Brothers in Arms, camo crew, camo on the vehicle, premium consumable, all that stuff, if you go for everything, you can actually get like 50, maybe even more percent camo rating on this vehicle while moving, and then you move forwards and backwards at the same speed, you can turn on a dime, you have that disgusting gun, nine and a half second um, base reload, and you do 350 damage in one and a half seconds, right, you shoot once, Shoot again after one and a half seconds, 350 average damage with the regular rounds, with the HE, which are really good as well. Let me just show you 75 millimeters of penetration, 260 per shell, that's 520 damage in one clip. And when you fight against light tanks, you know, the even 90s, the Lynxes, or lightly armored vehicles like the Miel, which, I mean, Chirelan, this is just gonna show you 463 HP Miel, no. And no number two, and that's it, the meal is gone. So you do have those amazing HE rounds that are just disgusting, doing the <laughs> uh, large amounts of damage over here. Um, APCR, like I said, 350, if you can pin those two rounds. And yeah, 9.5 base reload, which can go down, obviously, if you use the vents, if you use from consumable, um, Brothers in Arms, all of that stuff, it can go down to like 8 seconds, maybe 8.5. And when you do that amount of damage, and like, you're so fast, you're so sneaky, you, you don't really have any downside, except for the view range, I guess. The view range is trash with 310 meters of base view range. But you can just, you know, do stuff like this. Pop, pop, and then go away. <laughs> it is it is just so disgusting. Uh, but yeah. And, you know, dispersion as well. I haven't even touched on the dispersion. So the dispersion values on the move on this vehicle are some of the best on on any vehicle. Things like 0 0.08 or 0 0.06 um, while turning the vehicle and the turret and stuff. So, yeah. 0 0.34 base dispersion, which is, I mean, not the best. Maybe it's 0.36 even. So, like... You know, you just drive around, you spot everything, you don't really get spotted yourself because you do have amazing camo. And yeah, when you can just do so much damage, and you can actually spot people, right? You don't really need to uh, have the max V range to be able to see everyone. When you can just drive 100 meters away from them and they can't see you, I guess. And just do this, 348 damage in the side of the M3 wipe. So yeah, this vehicle hasn't been on sale for quite a while now because of all of those reasons, right? It's like, it's just so toxic. It's just such a toxic vehicle. It's kind of like the BZ light tank equivalent. I guess the BZ-176, you know, that very, very uh, toxic tier rate heavy tank, which just does 800 and damage and like, the, yeah, a lot of armor. We're not gonna go into the BZ. Not going to go into the BZ this time. It is the uh, the EBR FL10 over here on Prokhorovka. So actually, the enemy team does have two enemy even 90s, which you know are I guess kind of toxic in their own way. There's a lot of a lot of toxicity, I guess, at tier rate, which is actually the most played tier in the game. Anyway, anyway, that is going to make it tricky for Troy Olympic over here because like 
of those even 90s are some of the sneakiest vehicles inside the game but when you get 50 meters away from them and uh, they can hit the gun there we go one even 90 is down but you saw that the t20 actually had to go 50 meters away from the even 90 to be able to spot them it's just it's like what are you supposed to do to counter that if you don't have uh, an even 90 yourself and then it's just like sitting 51 meters away from each other not spotting anything um yeah this is where this is where the ebr comes in right that ebr can just drive forwards get 50 meters and then t turn on a dime and run away and then the even 90 is kind of like okay my power to wait is pretty much like a lawnmower you know i i drive like a zamboni i guess so yeah until that even 90 gets to that top speed it's just going to be so slow so d cumbersome i guess and it will just die immediately when it is spotted almost always like even 90s can't get spotted or they die ebrs can actually you know be a bit more cheeky with that because they do accelerate faster and they do have a higher top speed they do they can fire on the move if they like they can do a lot of damage it's just like it can do everything. It can just do everything. Anything you want it to do, it will do this EBR. There we go. We wanted the Type 63. IS-6 be spotted in the center as well. But yeah. <clears throat> so far, 2,300 damage, which, I mean, is a pretty decent round for any light tank, right? It's not enough spotting, I guess, but it does make sense, like I said, when they have even 90s. On the enemy team on Prokhorovka, it's kind of difficult to to push forwards through the bush line because oh my goodness, I six B was it was it a blind shot actually? They all turned towards Chori Olympic over here, and the commander died. So maybe the sixth sense didn't go off because because of the fact that the commander died. I really don't know. That was so weird. That was so so weird. But nice shot by the I S six B. There we go. Now we know we are spotted over here. Trying to run away getting a lot of spotting i just said i oh, didn't do spotting go to 400 is not enough up to 2500 in like instantly instantly up to 2500 and this means that this is a close to 5k combined just by driving around over here and shooting unfortunately the platoon mate column in the t342 fell towards the west and that actually tells us that the even 90 on the enemy team is being aggressive is pushing forwards because it can't really spot the people over here unless you go forwards unless you trundle forth inside the bushes so maybe this is this is the time to do the bush run but if you do try to do this kind of push over here and then fall down fall back down or just finish off the type 63 don't listen to bafsh i guess <laughs> but yeah, you can catch the light tanks over there 50 meters and then it will help your tank destroyers to finish off those very pesky very cheeky little light tanks Anyway, east, one, west, full of enemy vehicles, I guess. Most of them not spotted. Uh, but yeah, there we go. IS-6B into the backside. Can't pin the first one. Easy second. I, I, I guess not. I guess that IS-6B is too tricky today. But you know, with that awesome reload, you can just reload and put one again. And then it's, it's just so simple. It's just so, so simple. I think, like, the hardest thing to do with this vehicle is learn how to drive right like i was struggling so much with the two modes when i just first got the um the ebr 90 i believe is the one where i actually started doing this the changes of the speed modes so yeah once you master that this vehicle is kind of like use right click drive and shoot type of vehicle and you will hit a lot of shells you can also do the he switch as you can see over here that lynx just has no chance that Lynx has no chance, push forwards, 1HG run into the Lynx and then turn on a dime, run away, even 90 spotted as well, towards that western area, can the Yudas shut down the even 90, put 1 in, but unfortunately, the Boras that was over here died, was it a Boras or someone over here died actually, and yeah, it is a very close game, down by only 1,000. 754 HP. There's the even 90 once more, down by a vehicle now, unfortunately the Hive 63 falls towards the north which is not good it is not a good push like this area you do get spotted you can't spot back so i don't recommend going over there 
<clears throat> like you do need to make some sort of play, right, to try and break the camp that the enemy team has. But sending all of your heavies into that area is is not the play, in my opinion. Going towards where the I6B might be the better option. If you can actually go from this center path and sit hull down over there, that can be better. But this is just where you need to trust your light tank to go and spot for you. There we go, Chori spotting that ISM, getting smacked by everything. Up to 3,300 spotting. Can you shut down the even 90? Need to shoot over here. Need to finish off that cheeky. There we go, little French light tank. Up to 5 kills, 3,000 damage, 3,350 spotting. Uh, and I mean, there's still. There's still a lot of stuff remaining over here. There we go. The unit's shutting down the IS and drive through the bushes. Don't want to go inside of the bushes. And yeah, I guess this is where you would actually want the exhaust system instead of either the vents or the optics. I personally would have dropped the vents and um, taken an exhaust over here just to like, so get the crazy, crazy amounts of uh, camo. Oh my goodness, 15 meters away from the Scorpion, putting one, putting two into the Scorpion, finishing off the tier 8 German tank destroyer. <laughs> oh my god, the magical, mystical wheels absorbing the XM, and luckily, luckily, Troria remains in this battle on 300 hit points. That would have ended this game. It would have probably ended in a draw if that happened. You know, both teams would have just probably camped, waited for the other team to make something happen. None of them would have done that, and now we have Troria Olympic. To just get the wins. Yudas can get onto the XM over here. Maybe the Yudas actually needs to go a bit towards the west. If I was the Yudas, I would have gone towards this bush. Maybe this one, if I feel a bit aggressive, then you can have shots towards the north as well. But there we go. One from the Yudas, two from Chori Olympic, and the XM is gone in an instant. Seven kills, 3,600 damage, and 5,500 spotting. You can see how the numbers just go up right now. They just constantly go up more and more and more but there's the saladin 50 meters away it was actually like 51 meters away so the saladin didn't see genre olympic this is just so disgusting this is so disgusting oh my goodness and then we go one into the saladin and two into the saladin and finishing off that tier 8 british wheeled medium unfortunately the fe207 actually finished off the udes 03 that might have tried to push forwards I guess not inside of the bushes, and that is their demise. But there we go. 4v3. Very close game. 1 to 2 TM. Yang Tiger. Prototype. FV207. Against I6B. XM. Short real in the EBR and their artillery. The M40 that actually gets another lovely shell in that artillery is doing a lot of stuff. There we go. The FV207 is spotted towards that northwestern corner. Finish off that artillery. You don't want RNG in your game right now, unless it's on your team, of course. Waiting for the S6 to shoot and getting the kill over here. Nine kills for Tory Olympic so far in this battle. And it just shows you how crazy this vehicle is. It can do damage. It can do spot. It just does everything. It does everything that you want from it. It's just crazy. Ridiculous. There you go. One to two teams spotted. Only two vehicles left. Two vehicles left on the enemy team. Do it. Oh my goodness, the Yang Tank finishing off the I6B. But the one to two TM is a two shot, just but two shots. One and two. And it, 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 the first one didn't hit action. It did get spots. One to two TM didn't hit. My goodness, that was close. That was a very close one. And the M4043 is actually out of ammunition. So it's only Shory Olympic and the XM. One and a half minutes left. One to two TM is a one shot. Yang Tiger prototype is very healthy. Last we've seen, but then we've got the one to two TM is getting shut down. 1248 damage left on that Yang Tiger prototype. We do need the XM to go forwards over here with us to secure this kill. If the XM stays at the back, then it's just up to Chori Olympic to do everything by themselves. Up to 10 kills, a pool's medal already. 4,000 damage, 6,688 spotting. Crazy stuff. The Yang Tiger's over here getting 50 metered by the Yang Tiger. This is not good. The one minute alarm sounds and yeah, XM don't stay in the cap. You need to go forwards. My goodness. 40, 40 sec, 45 seconds. One into the side of the Yang Tiger. Put another one. Unfortunately, that was a very bad shot by Chirelim. Shooting the front of the Yang Tiger instead of the backside that was just waiting. But there we go. XM. Pushing forwards, 35 seconds, and just put two into the side. Unfortunately, putting again into the front of the Yang Tiger, not going through. But yeah, the XM 
pushing forwards, getting the kill, securing the win. And yeah, this is this is just your EBR FL10 game. Right, 4,248 damage, 6,688 spotting, over to like 10k, almost 11k combined over here. Crazy stuff. 10 kills with the light tank. It's, 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 it's just, it's insane, right? It's like the light tanks are meant for spotting. They're meant for supporting their allies, but not the EBR. The EBR is kind of like, okay, I'm going to spot for myself. I'm going to damage the enemies. I'm, I'm going to do everything. I'll, I'll do whatever I want, pretty much. I dominate this battlefield. It is mine. And this is exactly why this vehicle hasn't been on sale for a very long time, because it's just basically broken. It's just a broken vehicle in the matchmaker. Uh, but yeah, anyway, still an impressive game, an amazing game by Chori Olympic. Uh, when you get 10 kills, you get that amount of damage, that amount of spotting. You just know you did something right. And by something, I mean pretty much everything was done right over here by Chori Olympic. So GG well played. And yeah, let's go and check out the post-game stats. There we go, Ace Tanker, of course, for the 2,280 base experience for Troy Olympic. The Pools Medal for 10 kills. The Patrol Duty for spotting at least 6 enemy vehicles by yourself that were then damaged by your teammates. And a Top Gun, of course, for, I mean, 6 or more kills, 10 kills, Pools Medal. So Top Gun is there as well, uh, getting uh, 47 shots out, 36 hit, 28 of those penetrated. 4,248 damage, which is crazy for a tier 8 light tank. Um, three hits received, two penned, and one didn't. One got absorbed by those magical, mystical wheels that just seem to absorb so many shells, like my um, Yank Panzer E100 heat round once, yes. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> seven vehicles spotted, 15 of the enemy vehicles damaged. So, like, every single one of the vehicles on the enemy team was damaged by Tori Olympic. Every single one. That's just insane. It's like 50, the entire list was damaged and 10 of those destroyed with 7,446 damage caused due to uh, Tori Olympic's assistance. Traveling over 10, 10 and a half kilometers in a battle. Ridiculous stuff. And also having a premium account, you know, it is a premium vehicle after all, not firing too much gold. Going for HE, going for APCR first until they ran out of APCR. So, yeah, finishing with 220,000 credit profit, which is always nice. It is always delicious. 14 and a half minute game. Absolutely amazing. 9,405 XP, 684 free XP earned in this battle. So, yeah, Troy Olympic, amazing game. GG, well played. Awesome stuff. Hopefully, you got your third mark. Sometime in the future, I think I did see two marks on the vehicle earlier. So hopefully you got that third mark in the future. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think of the EBR FL10? Do you actually think it is not broken maybe? You think it's a decent vehicle, overpowered, underpowered, good as it is. Do you want it to be on sale again? Maybe you already have it, you got it while it was on sale. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as always... Thank you so much everyone for watching, you're awesome, stay awesome, and yeah, this is it for today. Hopefully I'll see you all in the next video, tatas, have a good one people!